Hello everyone, I'm clearly disabled and welcome to another adventurous video in... Well, wait a minute, nope, nope, that's not it. Welcome to Star Citizen. Unfortunately, this is about as far in as we can get most of the time lately. Um, CIG is really having some problems with patch 3.18. And if you don't play Star Citizen, or if you do and you've just been living under a rock, yes, the servers are having pro And it does seem that this is all lining up with a pretty big milestone for me. That's right, I just hit 100 subscribers! Thank you so much for that, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate everything you do for us over here. I have been having a whole lot of fun making this channel, and I'm glad people are starting to have fun watching. So, without any further ado, let's go celebrate our 100 subscriber video. And since we can't do much else right now, I figured why not... You okay, sir? All right, we're just gonna let him do that over there. And since we can't play the game right now, I figured now was as good a time as any to do a tour of my recently updated personal setup. So, hope you enjoyed the ride. Let's go to my office. Now we're currently in my office. Unfortunately, my vacuum cleaner is broken and I have a husky and I have really long hair too. So, the office is a little dirty. I'm really sorry about that. I've swept, but you know, these things happen. Uh, I guess, first of all, when it comes to my setup, I wanted to talk about the X52 Logitech HOTAS. Very, very hotly debated HOTAS. De definitely widely agreed upon to be one of the best, like, intro HOTASs you can get. Um, at, le at least that's what a lot of articles kept saying when I got these nearly three years ago now, because I've been playing Star Citizen for almost a year, and before that I was fairly heavy into Elite Dangerous for about two years, I want to say, and I know that pales in comparison uh, to what a lot of people put into both of those games, but this is a, a fairly new thing for me, and I'm definitely, definitely falling in love with Space Sims. So, the X-52 Hotels. Responsive. I liked it. The buttons were good. The pinky trigger and a few others were a little bit overly clicky for me as I found when I started doing videos. I was spending an inordinate amount of time editing out that sound from my dialogue and it was killing me honestly. And that's a, one of the things I'll talk about with my new HOTAS, but the main thing that I wanna talk about is the throttle. The throttle is actually a really, really heavy throttle. It feels really good. It's very sticky to exactly where you leave it. That was a really great thing about it. My biggest complaint is gonna be this, this little stick. This is all I've got for half of your six degrees of freedom because of course you've got pitch, you've got roll, and for me, you've got yaw on the Z axis. And over here, we've got up and down strafing and then left and right strafing. And of course, z zero to 100 throttle. Uh, I had, I believe, this button bound as my change to reverse. And that was one of, the, I gotta say, that's one of the things I do not like about Star Citizen is uh, when you're, playing in that manner there's really no indicator that you're going forwards or backwards on your hud there's no little light that says now you're in reverse because i don't know about you but i have severe adhd and i forget when i've parked in reverse sometimes but now we don't have to deal with this anymore we don't have to deal with any of these little issues which again this was a great hotel so if you're looking for something to get you started and you didn't want to spend more than 200 dollars, this this was a great way to go i don't know how much they cost now i'll look that up and post it but now we've moved on to these lovely things. My brand new VKB Gladiator Evos NXTs. I think that's all of the name. It's a super long name, so I could have that wrong. These are the Space Edition, uh, Special Edition, uh, Space Edition, oh, what, it was like Special Edition or uh, Premiums. Sorry, yeah, that's what it was, Space Edition Premiums. I'm not gonna edit out any of this. You get to see my brain completely unrefined here. But you've got several hats to work with. Mul each one is multi-directional. Each one has a pretty satisfying click especially this one. Uh, this one is actually my new uh, navigate third, per or change the camera in third person, and this is the click right here is how I change to uh, first and third person. I did not have that almost at all bound on my old HOTAS. That thing, uh, I uh, when I started using Joy to Key, a little program you can use to reassign buttons to match buttons on the keyboard, 
So that pinky trigger was actually doubling as my left alt. And so I could use it like a shift key or a sh uh, it's a modifier. And so that I could press all the other buttons on there two times and have a whole lot more bindings. I don't need that over here. I haven't opened Joy to Key since I installed these because there are plenty of buttons on this. Now, just to give you an idea, this is my uh, power triangle. So shields, weapons, and thrusters. Over here, I've got, uh, I only use this one for combat. Yeah, this is my uh, decoy button because it's right next to the trigger. And then this is noise when you go down up. I had a trouble, I had, a, I had trouble binding up. I can't remember what that is. Um, I have just recently changed some of these bindings and so I'm still getting used to them. This has been a very, very big change to go from the X52 to these. They feel very different. They're much heavier. They're much slower to respond when you just let them go. They'll actually stay in position for a nanosecond or so, and then they slowly swing over. Left and right is faster. Left and right is definitely faster, but uh, it just seems like these springs are a bit tighter is all. It does come with some extra springs to swap things out. I did not change any of the springs. I actually thought about taking the spring off of this one's y-axis because well, I'll be honest my shoulder gets tired just holding this thing down does take quite a bit of energy honestly but I'm I'm actually still trying to figure out which button to bind to cruise control because I had it as a uh, uh, I believe yeah this right here take this stick down towards that direction but it just kept interfering with my uh, speed limiter. That's what I assigned over here. I don't need to tell you guys all my binding. Now, uh, let's talk about the other part of my setup for a moment, how my HOTAS connect to my chair. They connect to my chair via this Monster Tech rail system. Monster Tech is a company out of Germany. They're awesome. They're truly awesome. I love what they do for HOTAS mouse and keyboard modifications. This is all from Monster Tech. It is a little expensive, but that's mostly, honestly, just the shipping. Uh, I've actually thought about loosening these two bolts right here, because this just controls what position this plate is in. And this could actually slide forward all the way from back here to there if I wanted to, and I may, because right now my wrist rest is really preventing me from using these two wheels. This one I definitely use for my uh, l my uh, ship doors. The six seat. It's actually fairly easy to get in and out when I don't have my leg rest up. The leg rest is built into the chair. So this keyboard tray has been in a pretty good position, honestly, until I got these guys. This is the only complication. This is created for my setup is that this keyboard is actually overhanging off this tray a little bit. Otherwise, I would just have absolutely no room whatsoever to use my mouse. I have my DPI up pretty high and, you know, even then it's still a little low. Or, or my space, the amount of space I have to move is a little low. And so I'm thinking about getting my 60% keyboard back and putting it here and literally just being really bougie and putting this keyboard up there which of course is being blocked because I can't get this under the table. The reason I like the 60% keyboard is that it'll actually take off all of this and it gives me a lot more room for my mouse, but then I lose my print screen button. And I gotta be honest, I can't live without that. Yeah, I know about Windows snipping and everything. I do that sometimes, but I love being able to just really quickly hit, get up there and hit print screen. So I, I may get really silly and just have two keyboards here. Yeah, I'm using a Razer Naga wireless mouse. So let's talk about my screen for a moment. Uh, I'm sure some of you noticed that I tend to favor a lot of the space battles and nighttime space battles. You know, I'm not really fighting on daytime sides of the planet, unfortunately, and I don't really edit those out because I'm playing on an OLED, the uh, LG CX OLED or C10 OLED actually. Almost three years old now. It's been a fantastic, fantastic monitor, a great TV. You know, I'll put this on sometimes and go over there and paint or that's where I do my computer work because I do custom build my own PCs. Um, I've built several for my family and this is currently mine. Yes, I know the radiator's on the bottom, leave me alone. It's supposed to be on top, it's a long story. Uh, over here got, we've got my secondary monitor which is just a 27 inch Asus. And yeah, so this is my Ikea setup. My VKB Gladiator NXT Evo, that's what it is, Jesus Christ that name. And of course my Monster Tech chair rail system. Got the Hotas itself, the wire comes out of the front, and I've got them 
stuck to the bottom of the chair with those little pasties. Just helps me with the cable management across this rail right here or down and around that way from the other Hotas or the other Hothoth because I got two sticks and both the cables run up. They're on USB extenders and I've got a USB extension hub under there. Yeah, my cable management is uh, it's a mess. From the top, it looks great. Just don't look at it from the bottom. And of course, these aluminum plates right here are a, a special thing from Monster Tech. I, I have a quick story about that too. I ordered these for this chair, which is the autonomous Ergo chair, but this is actually like the Ergo 2. And, and I ended up ordering the plate. They told me it wasn't actually, or I notified them that it doesn't actually fit my chair because this is the Ergo 2. And at the time they were just finishing up fabricating these. And so I just had to put in a quick order and customer service almost, almost overnighted it to me. It was actually pretty wonderful of them. And yeah, fits together pretty well. You've actually got a little uh, spin lock right here and an actual lock right here. And when you unlock this, you can, I don't know if I left enough slack in my So I have not done this since I installed my VKBs, but these actually unlock and you are able to swivel this all the way around. But I'm afraid I may not have left myself enough cable room to do that. So I just, I'm just realizing that now that's okay. I can go back and do that and just fish a little more cable line through so that I can spin these around. But honestly, I never find myself in a position to do that lately. It's just been working out pretty well. Ah! But yeah, this has been my setup. And in with the new. I've been enjoying these guys a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little uh, rambling and kind of back and forth. But again, sorry, I have severe ADHD and this is really unscripted. So thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Let's see how much farther we can go with this and have a whole lot of fun doing it. All right. Bye. Squish.